Joining us now for more on Kobe Bryant's injury, Dr. Rahul Jandial, our resident surgeon. Uh, Doc, what is this injury that, that Bryant has specifically, and, and why has he chosen not to have surgery? It's got a fancy name, lateral tibial plateau fracture. What that means is it's in the knee, but it's where the shin bone comes up, and it's a fracture of the bone right here. It's a crack in the top of your shin bone that makes part of the knee. Now, if that crack is too wide, you have to put screws in it to get it closer, but his appears to be just a hairline fracture, and if you give it time and you don't exercise, you don't put weight on it, the bone will grow back much like a cut will heal in your hand. So now two injuries to the same leg. He had the torn Achilles in that left leg. He's already had 17 seasons of NBA pounding on his body. How do you, how do you expect all of this to affect him going forward? That's a complicated question. So this injury is not because he came back from the Achilles too fast. Okay. It's because naturally when you have mileage in all your joints and you have an injury, you start compensating and you start relying on other joints. So this was, he wasn't conditioned. He came back a bit too quickly with the minutes and now he had a compensatory injury. What does that mean for the future? It's going to be about two months off, then he's going to start training. What I would say is take a long rehab and try to have a good two seasons going forward. Don't aim for a quick recovery, but a complete recovery. All right. Doc, while we got you here on retainer, I got this thing in my back uh, <laughs> affecting my golf swing. When we get to commercial, I'd like for you to take a look at it. All right. Happy to. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Pleasure.